home. Good morning, all. I'm Rapstein with your morning flash update for this Friday, and we're at the 16th of December, 2022, 8.35 a.m. Central Time. Well, the good news is we're only down 200 points. Literally 15 minutes ago, you were down over 400 points. You had the bounce since the market reopened uh, at 8.30 a.m. five minutes ago, so that's given you a little bit of a bounce. Be careful, today's triple witching day. Big declines in front of the market. Now with all that's going on, we already saw the New York Fed president speak this morning and he wanted to make everybody very clear that uh, the Fed is staying the course. They see unemployment has to rise. They have to take on inflation. They're encouraged by some of what they've seen. He was very clear about uh, what he sees in rents and uh, he's hoping for a decline yet. I was watching and there was an interview just prior to that, uh, I think it was CNBC, where they were interviewing one of the people that, I think they have 58,000 rental units, homes and uh, apartments. And he said, yeah, you're weak now, but that's what you typically are. It'll start in February, March, where you get very strong and the prices will go up again. And uh, he basically wasn't agreeing with the Fed that you're going to see big declines. And they concentrate, admittedly, on the South, the, where the migration goes. He calls it the U-Haul markets. And he's right. It's where people in the Midwest, they, they're on the run and they, they go there. So it's rather clever. But 58,000 units, I pay attention. All energies under pressure today. Uh, you know, you're, you're talking a worldwide recession. How do you keep the demand for all that up? I'm interested in what I saw today. I read a story that China is going to take over the buying for all of its state-owned steel mills in iron ore and they're gonna do it as one. That should get them a price break, something to watch. Keep your eye on copper. I understand there's a big copper mine about to shut down, and that will uh, hurt the world supply. In the grain markets, again, a mixed bag here. I'm not seeing anything clear on it. And you're starting to put pressure to go up on interest rates one more time here. Uh, so the market, this is the aftermath, as I call it, and you always pay attention to what that might or might not do. So let's take a look together and, and see what we've got here. Let me get over to this side where I can see where we're at. We have S&P Global Group coming out in five minutes, and they're going to be talking about their uh, December manufacturing and service sector PMI. We have San Francisco President Daly yet to speak, Mr. Bowman uh, the fo uh, of the uh, Federal Reserve Board. We have Cleveland President Loretta Mester, and we've already seen one other Fed President speak. So it's a day where we're going to hear an awful lot. In Europe, the economic data continues to so show a slowing down one way or the other. But in the back of my mind, triple witching day, a lot of volatility probably coming from that. You want to keep your eyes on what you do with it. And I want to remind you, every morning, like I did this morning, I prepare my traders for the day's events, what's going to happen. I'll do another one of these at 9 o'clock for the Spider ETF people. We talk shorter trades. We talk longer term. There are some days we don't do anything. You know how many trades I had coming into today for my traders? None. I think today I put out one trade recommendation in the morning for them. And it was in a soft commodity, by the way, because I want to stay away from the, the volatility that the triple witching might form as the markets have to digest a whole lot of data from yesterday. And you know what that entails. So how do you get all this information? It's simple. You go to our website and under the word research, it's all explained to you there. Very shortly, by the way, later today, we're going to do our release of my outside day course. Now, we've already sent notice to everybody that took advantage of the Christmas special that they can activate the course already. So I met my target date and that's what I was counting on. And I hope you enjoy the course. I put a lot, a lot of effort into it and I think you'll find it very helpful with figuring out moves uh, two, three days at a time. I, I think very helpful. In any case, I'm I Rapstein. I'll either see you tonight or tomorrow. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. I'm thinking tonight I'll get the, your, morning, your end of the day weekend editions for you out. I'd rather do it then. I've got my tickets for Avatar first thing in the morning. So IMAX, 3D, wanna see it. You have a good one. I'm I Rapstein.
Look at my girl. Hello there, honey bunch. Look at my little girl. What a pretty girl. <laughs> what a pretty girl. You in the shower with me again. You decided. Are you making this a habit? <laughs>